I just want to say, I know my skin looks busted, okay? I know I'm the worst YouTuber of all time, okay? I know I haven't made a video in like 12 years. There is an explanation to this, okay? I promise there is an explanation. <laughs> up everybody welcome back to a broke girl's channel where we are slaying on a broke girl's budget you already know it's your girl taylor mate huh i'm sorry okay i'm so sorry i've been gone for a long time i'm so sorry if today's video is really awkward because i haven't been in front of the camera in forever okay getting a little festive for christmas time a little early okay it's just water in here by the way i just i have no sense this is just Everything under the sun has been going on. Also, forgive my hair. Any of my natural girls out there, I have my hair in a twist out right now so that when I untwist it at the end of the video, it looks super cute. But look guys, my hair is long enough to put into puff balls. I'm so excited. I remember when girls were telling me, oh, I don't know if I'll be able to grip your hair to do box braids. You grip it now? So my skin has really bad breakouts like this is all stress acne Okay, and I will explain that In the video, but yeah, so um today we're gonna do some Some breakup makeup. What is that you might ask? I just recently went through a breakup and it it was interesting It was the first relationship I had ever been in for like a year like that's a long time I know a lot of people are going is that even the same? But for me, like, it was really a long time. It's probably the reason that I've been gone. I don't know, I just wasn't, I didn't have motivation to make videos. Like, I really didn't want to be in front of the camera. I was hardly even, like, doing my makeup. So it was just, it was honestly, me in my own head, like, not motivated because of things that were going on in my life. The breakup makeup is, is some popping ass makeup, okay? It's the way you do your makeup when you know you're finna go to the club. You feel me? You finna go to the party. You feel me? And you know you finna be on 10. You finna have everybody man's head turning for your girl, you know? It's the makeup that you put on so that everybody look at you. Hello? Hello? Okay. Um, honestly, it's just an excuse for me to sit down and talk to you guys. It's This is gonna be like a get ready with me. I'm just gonna explain like, you know, what's been going on. Okay, so we're gonna start off with primer. You guys know I love what? How did, how that happen? Start off with the primer. You guys know I love the NYX Shine Killer. Shit's bomb. I'm gonna share too, like, I'm not gonna share really any details about my breakup. I'm just gonna share why I haven't been here. I've just honestly just been like not motivated to create content. That's just the honest truth. Before like the breakup, before that I was just working a lot. Honestly, I was working so much and I work a lot still but like I was just working and I felt like I was working for no reason. Honest to God, I felt like I was just busting my ass and it was like to no avail, like no personal avail anyway. I was just paying my bills and like, I don't know, my life didn't feel fulfilled in any way. So that's why I just, it just didn't motivate me to like do my makeup. I was hardly on my socials, like my Instagram, my Twitter, like I wasn't really on it. I just, I don't know. I just wasn't motivated. After me and my um, ex broke up, I went to go see my mom. Next, I'm gonna go in with the um, Hourglass Mineral Veil Primer. I have a sample that I got from Sephora. And I've been trying it out and I actually really like how smoothing it is. Honestly speaking, I know I'm like only 19, but like throughout my whole school years, like all the time I was in like middle school and high school, I never learned how to be by myself. Like ever, like I didn't learn it because I always had a like I always had I was always with somebody I was always with a boy, I always had a boyfriend. You know what I mean? And then when I got my apartment, it was me and him, and we moved in together. And like I was just I've never learned to actually be by myself. So this is a real learning experience, and that's just why I've been so dipped off lately. Just because like I don't know I'm learning things. I'm gonna go one with the Peach Perfect Comfort Matte Foundation. 
This is in the shade Sink. I really like this. I got a tester of it from Sephora because they said it was good for oily skin. Um, it's a little light, but I kind of like the way it looks after I like do my concealer. I'm just buffing that in with my Morphe E6 brush. But yeah, like me and my mom went through a really tough time. We're like, we didn't talk to each other and I wasn't living with her. Like before I got my apartment, like we went through like some shit, like for real. But honestly, like how close we are now, I just feel so bad that we went through that tough time. But I felt like it was because I was in that in-between stage where like, you know, I didn't want to be told what to do and like I wanted my own spot and I was just over like the home life and honestly I've been over that life since I was like 16. I knew that I wanted to get my own place when I graduated high school and it unfortunately I went about it like the hard way but it's just made such a big difference on her relationship with me and my relationship with her and like my appreciation for not only the things that she does for me but just like my appreciation for life in general is so different now. Yes, I know this looks pale. Stop talking shit through the damn screen because I hear you, okay? Just give me a second. It'll all make sense. So yeah, so I'm pretty much getting back into the swing of things and it feels good. But yeah, I'm going to film a bunch just because like I want to start cranking out videos like crazy now because I feel like it's not cool that I like went missing even though like I don't feel like that like people watch my videos but like <coughs> not as much people as like I want yet so in order for that to happen I gotta work so we're back in full freaking effect guys for brows today I'm gonna use my Maybelline precise micro crayon this is really 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 good I like this a lot I'm gonna do my brows off camera because I have a video already on how I do my natural brow and my Instagram brow I'll put it somewhere on the screen so you can go watch that but I'll do my brows off camera and I'll be right back I can tell that I haven't done like real makeup in a long time because doing my eyebrows just now took so long okay so i went ahead and did my eyebrows and primed my eyes off camera i just primed my eyes with some tarte shape tape i used a lighter one than i would normally use just because i'm about to use some colors and i want them to pop as much as possible okay so for today's look i'm going to be using my take me to brazil palette and my morphe 35b palette and i'm probably going to use my masquerade palette by um juvie's place but I haven't decided yet. First off, okay, so first we're gonna start off with this neon yellow shade in my Take Me to Brazil palette. I'm gonna take that on a Morphe PK36 brush and we're gonna put that in my crease. My nails, by the way, I did them myself today. If you guys wanna see a tutorial on how I do my nails, please tell me. Put it in the comment section below. I will definitely show you guys how I do them. Let me zoom you guys in just a little bit so you guys can really see what I'm doing. Okay, so I'm gonna go in with this darker yellow from the 35B palette and then we're gonna put that right under that little neon yellow that we just used. I have like a lot of ideas for videos, but I also wanna know what you guys want me to do. So you guys should totally comment below what kind of video ideas you guys have for me. Okay, next from my 35 uh, B palette from Morphe, I'm gonna take this, I'm sorry, this blue shade right here, and I'm gonna create like a halo eye. So I'm gonna put that in my inner and outer corners using this Morphe R39 brush back so that I can see like what I'm working with. I'm fanning this shadow out a lot just because like I want to create like I don't know, kind of like a messy perimeter, kind of like a messy kind of eye look, but like a cute messy. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm really just doing whatever. Like, I literally don't even know what I'm doing. I'm just taking my M576, wait, what? Yeah, my M576 brush and just buffing everything out, making sure it looks super seamless. For my Take Me To Brazil palette, I'm gonna take this blue shade right here and we're gonna use that to deepen up the outer perimeters of our halo eye. For the center of the lid, I'm gonna go in with the shade Dahlia from the Masquerade palette. I'm just gonna take it on a flat synthetic brush. Looks like this is Sonia Cash look. I don't really know. I'm gonna spray this with some rose water just because it's the first thing I saw doing what it normally does. I'm gonna do this with my finger. It normally looks better. Oh yeah, there we go. Okay, never mind. We're switching the finger application because that didn't look right. The brush, I don't know what number it is. And I'm gonna take this navy blue color and I'm just gonna feather that on the outsides of the shimmer. I 
Actually, I need a different brush because that's not doing what I wanted to do. I'm gonna take my Morphe E22 brush. Okay, I am back with lashes. Um, by the way, my lashes are the Lash Couture Faux. So don't mind my lash glue, but they're the Lash Couture Faux Mink Collection. They were like five bucks or so, and I really, really like these lashes. Like they're so good. So I'm just gonna spritz my face with this Mario Disco Rose Water just to wake my foundation back up because it's kind of like dead. Just because I feel like if it dries down too much, I won't be able to blend product on top, and then of course that'll be a problem. Okay, now I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape. This is in the color and Sand. In the center of that, I'm just gonna take um, Tarte Shape Tape as well. I'm gonna take the color Light Sand. Just in the center, just to brighten it up a little bit. I'm just gonna take my Makeup Revolution Banana Powder. I'm gonna take my Wet n Wild Mega Glow Contouring Palette in the shade Caramel Toffee. Um, I'm just gonna take the bronzer shade and I'm gonna take my Morphe R39 brush and bronze my face up. Because I'm like hella extra, I wanna put some glitter in my inner corner. So I'm gonna take this Star Crushed Minerals glitter in, the, in Fields of Gold. I'm gonna take some Duo Lash Glue little clear one and then we're gonna put that in our inner corner just because I'm extra and I can't not be extra but now we're gonna do blush and highlight might be red for blush I'm gonna take my Milani powder blush in the shade T Rose I'm going to take that same master comb highlighter spray my brush with some rose water Okay, so now we're going to set the face. Now, one thing I've been doing lately is first spraying my face with rose water so that my skin, like, the makeup melts in my skin. And then spraying my face with setting spray so that, like, it actually sets my face and it doesn't move. I feel like that makes my makeup look so much better when, like, I'm done. And I'm going to fill them in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Liquid Lipstick, the mini one in the shade Hudson. I kind of want it to be a gloss because I feel like this is like not working for me. I'm going to go over top of this with the NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss in the shade Sugar Pie. I'm going to go take my bang down and then twist my twisties and then I will be right back. Alright everybody, so that's it for today's look. <laughs> I hope you know I'm feeling myself, okay? I was a little sad. When I first got on the camera, but honey, this break of makeup though, oh girl, <laughs> literally, this is the point. This is the point of breakup makeup, so that when you done, or can't nobody tell you nothing, boyfriend who, relationship what, me myself and I, oh, <laughs> you already know, you already know though. Okay, everybody, thank you so much for watching this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. I liked filming. I'm really I'm really happy to like to be back filming and stuff again. And on my socials, there will be another video after this one coming soon, I promise. I'm going to do a lot of pre-filming this weekend. I love you guys so much. I'm so sorry I've been gone. Um, but, yeah, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And comment down below if you've tried any of the products that I've used and stuff. So, yeah, I'll see you guys soon.